Good morning, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they unfold live. Market doesn't open up for a little bit over an hour, but some interesting movement out there pre-market right now. So potentially some pre-market trades have an order out on MBIO and then what we're looking at here, STNE. Could miss the entry point just because I'm doing a bunch of other stuff, customer service, replying to uh, um, student emails and stuff like that. So I'm not totally watching this, but I wanna at least get the orders documented. But uh, we'll see what happens. If nothing does happen, I'll just see you back at the open. All right, STNE going crazy here out of the opening gates. Have my first 500 share order down at 26.55. So we'll see if it can work its way down there. I realize it seems kind of far away, but yeah, you can see right here. And it's a very fast mover. All right, I'm gonna keep a close eye on it. And I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but the markets are officially open. All right, 945, 1,000 shares to try to go short. Can I get them? It stopped at 935. All right, so at this point, let's just go up to 975. So 975, now the new entry point. 1,000 shares. I want more than 1,000, but that would at least get my feet wet. So can it get through 950? Yes, it can. Oh, it stopped at 973. That little bugger. All right, gotta go to 995 now. Well, this one's starting to get a little bit annoying. Two cents right below my order. All right, I will keep an eye on it. All right, making a move. Can it get up to 995 is the question. Or is it gonna stop shy again? There, I'm in, very nice. Have an order down at 970. I'm gonna put an order up at 1045 for my next allotment. So let's see what this thing wants to do. Can it get back to 970? That's the question. It's trying, and I am out there for $250. I'm gonna leave my order up at 1045 though, and bummer, how high did it actually go? Yeah. That was, I wanna play the hindsight game, but if I'm being totally honest, I still wouldn't have gotten, I mean, 10.45 is where it would've said. So there we go, 2.50, and the market's been open, what, about five minutes? I will gladly take $250 in five minutes working from home in my underwear. That is well worth the time and effort. For me personally, I'm not saying it's that would be worth your time. I'm not here to tell you what to do with your time, but for me, well worth my time. All right, let's see if it can work its way back up. Have an order at eight dollars thirty cents for a thousand. In fact, I can probably just get rid of that ten forty-five, huh? But have an order at eight thirty for a thousand shares to get uh, my feet wet. That's represented by there's the break. Let's see, can it get down to that green line? Uh, how low did that actually go? Low as eight forty-three. So I wasn't even really that close. So at this point, I'm gonna go down to 8.15. So 8.15, new entry point. Again, represented by that green line right there. So if we can hit that green line, then I am in business, but just not acting the way I would wanna see it act now to get, uh, to wanna be interested at 8.30. So we'll see if it can pull back some more. Okay, it's pulling back. Still hasn't gotten through that 840 mark, but as you've seen, this one can move fast. I mean, it could very well just plunge down to the area, which would be great. Well, 
We'll see. All right, there it's going. All right, I'm gonna, that was the move I wanted. Let's go for 801. Let's see if it wants to play ball down at 801. Okay, it's working its way. Oh, there we go. Oh, just stopped. All right, at this point, never mind. Let's go to 775 then. All right, 775. How low did it, did it? Yeah, it would have failed me, would have, could have, should have, but I do not like how it went down there and just stopped right above my order and then bounced back up. So let's see if it wants to get down below eight a little bit more. All right, now it's going down. Oh, wait a minute, that's not 775, that's 760. Good thing I double checked. The value of that green line is right around 760. I thought it was 775. And there we go. All right, 760. Can it work its way down there? There's the break of 775. Just hovering, hovering, hovering. No, I need to see a move that gets down to me. So got to do 737 at this point. You see it, just how it was hovering, and I don't think it ever hit me there anyways. Uh, <laughs> it hit 760 exactly. That doesn't mean I would have been filled though, to make myself feel a little bit better especially with a thousand shares. Uh, welcome to the club. Hit it right exactly, but I'm just giving myself a hard time. I feel 100% confident in why I did what I did. So I'm just kind of trying to make a lot of the situation Oh, wow, we're almost at eight minutes. A lot of me talking and lack of entry points, but I did, I guess, still capture that one. All right, I'm gonna pause and get a little bit more stingy with time, unless it looks like I'm gonna actually get filled. All right, looking like it may, there's the break. I'm at 7.35. I, I just can't quite time this one up. Once again, just hovering. I'll give a little chance here, but. No, got to go to 725. So 725. Let's see if it can flush. All right, I will pause. I'll be honest, I'm getting starting to get, there we go. Let's see if it can, no, again, just stopping. I just want a nice, all right. Got to do 715. I realize this looks goofy, but like I said, there is a method to the madness. All right, I will pause. Wow, we're almost at 10 minutes. There it goes for so much for trying to be stingy with time. Oh my goodness, I turned my back for two seconds and I was filled. I was uh, reading something on uh, Twitter popped up. 
So I'm in at 715. I'm going to put another order in for 1000 shares at 675. Okay, well, they've given me 100 shares of the 1,000 that I want to sell. All right, so what does this one want to do? So let's try up at 722 just to try to get in front of that 25 number a little bit. So I'm out there now up 323. And going to keep my next order down there at 675. <laughs> Pretty typical though. I try and try and try and then I turn around and read something on Twitter for two seconds and I get filled. I apologize. I realize that this video is kind of annoying at this point. Um, over 10 minutes and a whole lot of, well, let me try this, let me try that. But I guess in that, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry because this is just how trading goes sometimes. But, all right, we'll try again at 675 if it wants to flush down, oh, there is the flush. Wow, that was fast. All right, 675, let's see if it can work its way down there. Once again, just sitting there. Not a fan, but I would be a fan at 651. So let's see if this thing can get down to 651. I'm gonna pause. All right, it's basically just consolidating here. It is now 10 o'clock. I have other stuff I wanna do. So 30 minutes, 300 bucks, I will take it. Happy with that, and I'm gonna wrap things up here. Final few things here before I go. If you are enjoying, the, or if you enjoy this video, if you like the live trade videos in general, easiest way to communicate that to me is to click that like button, subscribe to the channel. Also, if you're interested in trading alongside me and other traders, then I do offer a private uh, trading community that has a chat room and I send out a newsletter and all that good stuff. You can go to claytrader.com to learn more about that. And then also, if you're interested in learning how to trade with charts and technical analysis and build yourself a strategy, then you can, uh, again, go to claytrader.com and I offer many uh, resources on that, including uh, an, an online program. So I'm gonna say, uh, sorry, I'm holding my daughter right now, there we go. So um, those are the resources that you can use. If you don't wanna use anything, that's okay too. But like I said, if you wanna continue, or if you want me to continue to make these videos, uh, then like I said, the easiest way to communicate that is just to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you back next week. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.